Last fall, I decided to expand my current nursery area. This is what the nursery area looks like now after its first year, and it has worked out really well. It was a whole bunch of uh, blackberry beforehand, and now it, uh, and I grubbed it all out and mulched it really heavily, and now it is growing out a bunch of elderberries and sweet sicily and good king henry and sea kale and it's a very very productive space of clearing this out and i'll keep you posted on the process here you can see how much material i've pulled out a lot of blackberry a lot of butterfly bush i'm going to maintain some of the trees in here um, for a shade Especially for whenever things are really growing in the in the summer, it's a nice shade uh, will help keep help with the water retention. And I also have a line of chestnuts in here, and um, I got a mulberry, and I have a couple apples lining this whole place too. So those will grow up and cast some shade eventually over the nursery beds. All right, so the whole area is coming along here. Still quite a bit left to do. Pulled a whole lot of blackberry. Okay, day three of clearing. I've got most of the shop nursery area cleared out now. Um, have to do something with the brush and move some of the stumps that are out here. But by and large, I've got the all the blackberry cut out. I'm going to do some heavy, heavy mulching to suppress it. So I'm starting the establishment of some of the beds today. Uh, I might get them all dug, I'm not sure, but um, usually I would try to avoid digging, but and just pile mulch on top. But I'm trying to, um, my intention is to only water these nursery beds with rainwater this summer. Okay, here we are about a week later or so. Um, apologies for this stuff here. But uh, yeah, really cleared out now. It's actually pretty nice. Basically with these two, I dug out with um, a pickaxe or a mattock and then um, Actually, with this bed here, I didn't even dig into. I just dumped a bunch of wood chips, made a divot, um, and filled it in. So this is actually a pretty deep bed right here, too. Um, you can see here. So it's a good thick layer of compost. But then you hit wood chips. And then, actually, I actually don't have that deep of a layer of wood chips in here. But this is a good, you know, I don't know five inches six inches of soil right here uh, this will break down that can uh, scrape some more stuff in here but you know it's gonna be I'm really going for the the water holding capacity here as I uh, grow a lot more crops I want to show you all the nursery the latest nursery area from start to finish this is what the nursery looks like in its first year and we're having pretty good coverage uh again you saw the video uh, of how i prepped these beds i really i just dug them out filled them with a lot of broken down wood chips and um other random compost stuff i was able to find straw and it's actually been pretty uh retentive of the moisture we we're in about where it's been pretty droughty almost all summer we've gotten one one or two days of, of rain uh, this whole summer so far. Yeah, yeah, this, this ratty old breaking down, broken down fencing going on here. Basically, if you want to get a nursery going, it doesn't have to be super pretty. Um, 
I'm not really proud of this air prune bed right now. Obviously, uh, this whole thing should be filled up. I it didn't cover it well enough, and Stellar's Jays and Squirrels took the seeds. I haven't been on top of watering it, but you can see uh, I've actually been getting there's there's at least a couple hundred plants in here. So you can see we got we have pretty good coverage all throughout here. 